his son went on a long journey. And the road was long, it was hot, it was hard. Sometimes they thirsted for water, sometimes they wanted for food, sometimes the rocks would hurt their feet. Sometimes they could barely identify the road, but it was always there. So as they approached the village of their destination, they went to say, sit down and take shade under the baobab tree. And just as they were about to sit down, the father noticed an old man and an old woman coming down the dusty road. He jumped up. He went to the old man and to the old woman. He said, ah, asante sana. Asante sana, Imze. Thank you, elder, for your assistance on our journey today. And the old man smiled, and the old woman nodded, and they walked down the dusty road. But when the father went to sit next to the son again, the son was confused. He said, ah, uh -uh, Baba, why is it you thank that old man and that old woman? Today, our journey was long, was hot, was hard. I thirsted for water. The rocks hurt my feet. And that old man and that old woman was not there to help us. Why do you thank them? Father said, yes, son, it's true. Me too, I felt the heat. I felt the rocks. I felt the thirst. He said, but child, did you notice the times when we could barely identify the road, it was always there? And the son said, yes, Baba. He said, it was the feet of that man, the feet of that woman and those like them, and those who came before them who created such a path. He said, so remember my child, and hold it in your heart very dear. It's those who came before us that made it possible for us to be here. 